All right, hey guys, it's Nat with uh, Lethal Nat Gaming, and today we are doing a speed build. This build is called Cypress Creek. I believe it's a 9741. Um, so yeah, today we're just building a family home. It's going to be two stories, and um, it this build was a little challenging for me. First of all, my first speed build. Um, second of all, I'm really... Uh, I don't know how to describe this. I'm really, like, indecisive about my, like, when I build, oh, I keep saying, like, when I build houses. Uh, so, this is kind of hard for me to do it on camera because I'm like, oh, this is going on YouTube. This needs to be perfect, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, Natalie, like, relax, calm down. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be our first speed build. I tried to do, um, if you see here while I'm fixing these walls and stuff, I tried to do a two-story uh, foyer. We end up, or that's actually going to be the living room. We end up changing that. Uh, now we're just doing, see, this is where I change it, yeah, and we make that just a room, because I realized there was only two rooms upstairs, and I was like, oh, no, 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 this is a family home, you know, we need at least three, uh, so, yeah, we're just fixing the stairs here, the stairs have kind of an awkward placement, I end up fixing it, but, I don't know, I could have placed these stairs better, to be honest, um, but they, it, it looks fine, so, now we're dealing with the foundation, and, see, I had that problem, so I'm like, okay, let me put floor on it, for, like, flooring, and see what happens when I raise it. And then I did that. And I was like, you know what? Okay. I don't know what's going on. So I just deleted all the walls off camera and fixed it. And now we have our houses raised. Um, so this wraparound porch I love. I love wraparound porches. Uh, the houses just make me happy. Uh, the next house I'm going to build um, is going to be another family home. And then I'm going to do a Cape Cod home. And then we're going to do something modern. So I have big plans. Uh, for this now I believe we're about to do roofing yep roofing I hate roofing roofing is my least favorite part of building I just don't like it <laughs> but uh and I'm not really that good at it I mean I'm all right I think I could be a lot better I just it just takes time I think so yeah um yeah we're just doing the roofing actually <laughs> nothing really much to talk about um but yeah, this, I'm not doing a Let's Play with this house. I do have part three to the Let's Play coming out shortly after this. Uh, I have been a little sick. That's why when I said I was going to record more videos, I didn't. I just, I had an allergic reaction to the medication. And I know I said that in part two, but it was bad. Like, it knocked me out. And I was really, my mouth hurt. But now my mouth doesn't hurt. And I feel fine. And I'm ready to be back. I'm excited gonna record part three tonight we are gonna get this family moving because i know it's kind of boring in the first two parts because we're not really doing anything besides like their job and stuff but once we get her pregnant and we start doing the family aspect and the dogs grow up and we can do more things with the dog uh with axel and jp the cat um it'll be really fun so yeah now we're just fixing the side door here i'm trying to figure out like a back door um, that back door actually goes into a mudroom, um, and I'm from Texas, so, you know, you would think we would have mudrooms because, you know, they say Texan, we live in a desert, we really don't, well, I mean, there are some parts, um, but I, I live in the city, so, you no know, desert for me, more like lush green everywhere, and hiking is like a huge thing here, but yeah, um, and here I'm trying to place this damn column, but it just doesn't want to work. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I, yeah. So, and, and it just looked weird the way those blue shingles met up with the bricks. So I just pulled the room out. We got extra room in the master and whatever bedroom that ended up to be. And then we're doing the roof for that and fixing these windows. I had a rough time with these windows. I had a rough time with a lot of things in this build. Let me tell you that. Um, windows was definitely one of them. Another one was, I believe, uh, wallpaper and chairs. Yeah, uh, it was rough. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, and bathroom tile flooring. Okay, you see this? We have that, like, vanilla colored flooring, uh, to the left. Oh, it's gone. And then that blue in the master suite. Yeah, yeah. that ends up changing. And then we changed that bathroom one again. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Uh, the window is open because I love natural light, like absolutely love it. And so um my window is always open. Buddy, stop. Thank you. Um <laughs> I'm going to leave that in just cuz it's kind of cute. But uh I leave the window open just because 
I love sunlight. And my house, I want a Cape Cod house. That's why I really want to build one in The Sims because it's going to be like my dream home. Um, I just have always wanted a Cape Cod house. Yeah. Okay, we're getting off topic here. Uh, we're doing the kids or the upstairs bathroom. There's only one bathroom upstairs. I might have messed up with this part, but um, you can definitely add in another bathroom somewhere. Not really. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but I kept it with one bathroom. <laughs> And I love this wallpaper here, this blue, sh uh, not shingles, what, like tile. Oh, excuse me. It looks like tiles. Absolutely gorgeous. The blues in that are just beautiful. Um, so, yeah. And around the house, we went with this nice pale blue. It looks a little green right now because there's no lights in the house, but it, it is like a pale blue color. And here we're going to change the bathroom floor again. And that is this, like, oh my gosh, excuse me. That is the final flooring for the bathroom, that black one. Now we're moving around the house. Yep. I'm going to have a really hard time syncing the audio with this because I'm, like, behind what I'm doing when I'm talking. So I'm going to think that it's behind. But it's not Nat. It's not. We're, you know, we're about to place our final. There we go. We're placing our final right now. Um, and now we're going to do the back. Yep, yep. And the mailbox, I changed it to the cat one, as you can see here. There we go. Um, yeah, I changed it to the cat one because in our past houses, we have the dog one, right? And I was like, well, we always use the dog one, and let's change it to a cat one. Maybe this one is for a cat person, like this house. However, there are no cat objects in this house. Um, disclaimer, go ahead and add them if you do want a cat. I didn't think about that. Well, I did when I was doing the cat mailbox, and I was like, I'm going to add in cat stuff, and then I completely forgot. Now we're, since we placed this bush and it looks weird, that thing looks, yeah, now we change it to two. Put place, place the bush, fix the roof, and then I try and put it in where it's supposed to be. It just did not look good, so I kept it out like that. Yeah, see, we're trying it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried that like two times. Um, and now we're just putting stuff around the flower, uh, around the flower bed, pff, around the tree. <laughs> I like putting uh, little flowers and stuff to make the tree look like it's supposed to be there. I don't know. I I haven't really seen anyone else do this. Um, so, yeah. And then I found these bushes here. Yeah, those look great. Underneath those um, hedges there, I'll probably keep doing that in my builds. I just think it looks so nice. And that way you're just not looking at those empty branches. It gives it something more texture and... I don't know, it just looks really nice to me, and that's probably my favorite um, landscaping thing I did. Now we're doing a flower bed back here, and this is where it stops for a little bit. I did forget to cut this part out, but it's too late now. I have already edited this. I'm not messing with this editing anymore. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, my mom came in my room at that point in time. See, I'm pausing a little bit. Yeah, my mom was talking to me. My mom does this thing where she doesn't, like, it's not that she's not considerate, and it's not that she doesn't give me privacy. Like, she's never checked my phone when I was a teenage... Well, I'm 18, so... Um, she never checked... She's never checked my phone in my entire life. Um, she's always let me have my privacy. But one thing that she has never ha given me my privacy about is my room. Uh, she'll just barge in. She'll just be like, hey, Nat. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> you know, like, I was doing something. And she, but I know she just wants to talk to me, and I, I appreciate it. I love my mom. Um, now we place, I'm looking for, okay, this, like, net thing, because I was like, oh, this is perfect, like, it's next to a creek, and then I was like, no, let's do this fountain, so we, we left with that fountain, um, now we're gonna begin furnishing the inside of the house, and I'm looking for a doggy door, <laughs> okay, so I put a cat mailbox, I told myself this house is gonna include cats, like, this is gonna be for a cat person, but then I put a doggy door, as if your cat wants to go outside. Do cats go outside in The Sims? I, I, I don't know. That, that's a great question. I will test that out in our Let's Play. Um, I think the cats in The Sims are indoor cats. Like, they don't really go outside. But then you have those cats that roam around the neighborhood. I don't know. I don't know. But I put a doggy door or a cat door in if you want to um, be specific with me. We just picked a TV, and now we're decorating that little console there. Um, oh, and that little thing. I don't know where that came from, but that is the cutest little barrel of flowers I have seen. Replacing lights for the kitchen, and I end up changing that light in the living room that we're looking at right now. I just, you know, I didn't really like it. This pet couch. 
I just changed. I am changing right now to that pink. Yes. Okay. That a couch I would have never picked. In fact, when I was looking at what the pack came with, I was like, oh, this is disgusting. Like, I didn't like any of the colors that came with pets, the swatches, except for that blue couch that's in our Let's Play house. And here I'm trying, I placed those two coffee tables. Yeah, I'm really trying to make this coffee table work if you can't um, tell. And then I just was like, nope. Yeah, no, I tried it a third time. <laughs> I even tried changing the flooring, as we see. And then I take it out and I put in a pets one right about, oh, after a carpet. Excuse me, sorry, I forgot. Or sizing it down, picking, okay. Then I place a new coffee table. And now, uh, yeah. And that coffee table is from Pets, and I like the way that looks just way better. And we did put in a fireplace, if you see, off to the side. I love it. I saw it, and I was like, yeah, we're using this. I, I don't think I've ever put a fireplace in any of my Sims houses yet, so. Yeah, first for everything. Here, I'm trying to find something to go alongside the TV, and I placed those little wooden things with the strings and the plants in them, and... I mean, that looked fine. I think I would have been fine with that if I would have left it. But in the moment, I was like, no. Then I tried putting that picture on it so it looked like it was holding it up. Then I tried the picture alone. And it just didn't look good. So I ended up putting these cute little mirrors um, from movie hangout stuff. Back to these couches. Um, When I was building this house, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. So, yeah, and I'm not really a blush pink person. I know gray and blush pink, like that's the thing right now. I just wasn't into it. I mean, I'm not really into it. I'm more of like a maroon, navy blue type of gal. So then I try to put these curtains in because I realized I'm like, I never have curtains like, ever in my houses. So I was trying to do that for people that do like curtains since I did put this on the gallery. Um, just search up Cypress Creek 9741 and you will be able to find it, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, um, now we're doing the kitchen, and we're using these Parenthood countertops, and you know, I, I don't really know what the skin, um, what the skin, what this color is. We're going to call it skin color, though, um, but I think it looks great. I did the blue countertops in our Let's Play house, and I think that looks great as well. We did red appliances, however, I understand that dishwasher is not red. Do not worry. We do end up changing that later on when I come back. Um, how I do these builds is I usually do, uh, the, like, all the flooring, the wallpaper, and the build, essentially, and then I do the landscaping, right, but then I'll usually do, like, maybe the kitchen and a couple bathrooms, and then I come back to it another day and finish it off. Um, so yeah, you couldn't see where I came back, I'm an editing master, but I did come back to it another day. I believe after I finish this, actually, maybe we can tell... I came back to it. I did the kitchen and the living room. And I did put a dog bowl there. Wow. I really messed up. I should have put a dog mailbox. <laughs> Why did I? Well, I guess cat food. Yeah, they cat food is the same. It goes in the same bowl. And I really like this house. Uh, the skin colored cabinets really is something out of my comfort. I really try to furnish this out of my comfort zone. Um, and try and just do something different. We're working on the mudroom now, but back to what I was saying. I know, I'm going to, I go off track so much. <laughs> it's really hard being my friend because you really have to keep up um, because I switch so quick. These cork boards and like decorations on this brick wall here from Parenthood, I fell in love with. Oh my gosh. Um, and here, I just tried to place an ottoman under that, but I could not find it to save my life. I don't know where it was, so I ended up putting these Parenthood little organization cabinets. I really love the Parenthood pack. That was just a great pack. The stuff that came from it, I use all the time. It it was a great pack. It was well worth my money. If you're going to get one pack, I would get Parenthood. Toddlers wasn't really much. The Parenthood one is the way to go. And here I placed that board on the brick wall and switched where these were, be just because I wanted you to be able to use the board because this is a family home. And up above those counters, it just wasn't wanting to work. Here, I'm trying to do some, like, collage stuff, but I don't, you know, I'm still iffy about it. So, if you don't like it and you download this house, you will not hurt my feelings if you uh, take it off. And I'm sorry I built with grid on. I understand that is completely annoying. Um, next time, I will, I will turn that off. 
don't you worry a single hair on that head i tried to put in this like bath shower duo bathtub shower duo just wasn't working we went uh, with a shower instead i believe i put one upstairs in the kids bathroom and that sink there you saw it for a split second it's from vampire pack oh my god i love that sink it's just it's classic i really like it um and here we're doing the master suite bathroom or the yeah the master suite bathroom that's what it's called hi i was like wait is is that is that what it's called <laughs> i was blinking out for a second um, I tried to put that soap on there if you just saw that, and the counters just went, here I'm looking for, the counters went, just went red, but here I'm looking for something to go above the bathroom, I mean the bathtub, and I, I had a little bit of trouble, I ended up putting that picture that's also in the hallway, um, but later on I do change that, so don't worry, it ends up being this really cool, like, it's supposed to be like a bowling shirt on a hook, but it kind of looked like a towel to me, so we just went with it. And I put that on there. So yeah, now we're doing the master bedroom. Placing, looking for a mirror to go above that dresser. Then we take out the dresser. Because I really wanted that mirror. Once I saw it, I was like, yeah, we're getting that mirror. And yeah, now we're just decorating the top of the dresser. Um, Sorry, I just, wow, I just blinked out. <laughs> uh, day in the life of Natalie. I had, okay, I hate the lamps. In the sims 4 i think we need more lamps i had a really hard time finding a lamp then here i tried to put like one of those little plushy cushions that just did not work mm -mm. i ended up taking it out and i believe we put some curtains up yeah oh those curtains look so nice and then we do a rug i try I still after i found curtains that look decent i still tried looking for a different a uh, different uh curtain whatever now we're, <laughs> we're looking for a rug still um yeah, I ended up with that pink one. It looks really good. I believe that's from the bowling one, maybe. Ugh, I don't know. I do have all the stuff packs, expansion packs, and game packs currently available in The Sims 4. So, just a by the way. And I, I try my best to only use a couple packs, but it just never works. I'm sorry. <laughs> never works. I will try maybe one time with just base game. Like, uh, uh, oh. I, I thought I silenced my phone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. ESPN, gotta love them. Uh, I think, uh, oh, Barcelona is playing, that's why. They're, they're tied. Darn it. Whoops. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is the teenage girls room. God, I'm behind. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard for me to sync up the audio. Okay, so the teenage girls room. And that, see, look, the little bowling hook. Yep, we place it looks great okay the teenage girls room i have what the sims call above her bed are fairy lights in the real world they are icicle lights i have them all around my room all of my friends have them around their rooms like i just think it's weird to be a teenager or in this stage and not have them so they will probably be in almost every teenager girl build teenager girl room build that i do just get used to it and now we're looking for a plant to go next to that desk but then i decided when i was doing this i wanted a tapestry above the desk so we ended up going with that desk from parenthood and i could not find the tapestry so i had to search it up there yep strawberry tapestry <laughs> but yeah and that looks nice i like it um and now we're placing the fairy lights i tried to make them go all around the room but then it just looked weird behind the tapestry. So we just keep it to that wall right there behind the bed. And we place these cushions from the toddler. Is it a stuff pack or a game pack? I'm not sure. But the toddler pack. Whatever it is. Um, and now we're finding curtains. This took me a long time. You're going to see me struggle here with curtains. I wanted to use the same ones that are in the master because those ones actually go with the bed. Like those are the curtains you're supposed to use, but I had already used them in the master. So I was like, I'm not using them again. So we end up uh, using, I believe movie hangout curtains. Now we're looking for a rug and it takes us a while to find a rug. Yeah, this was just a disaster. Okay. Now onto the boys' room, and we just cut there abruptly because I couldn't decide what bed I wanted. <laughs> like, plain and simple, I had the roughest time finding what bed I wanted. It was really, it, it was a struggle. Oh my god, I, I remember building that, and I was getting so frustrated. 
So I cut that out because that was just too, that was too much to have you guys look at it. For me to commentate over, I would have been just mad at myself. <laughs> and it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm just so indecisive when I'm building. Um, I'm going to try and fix that though. So speed builds are a lot easier to watch. <laughs> I am mm, probably will just start cutting out more stuff to be honest. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that ends up being the boys' room. We didn't really do much with this room. I should have put a shelf and put all those toys on the shelf, but I, I like them on the floor. Here we do the nursery, and this is probably one of my favorite rooms in this build. Just because of its simplicity. And also, in a few minutes, I mean, look how easy I picked out those curtains. <laughs> this chair from Pets. This is another reason why I love the room. This chair from Pets seems like the perfect grandma and grandfather's chair that you always see that they sit in 24-7. And it also looks like the perfect nursing chair where you sit and nurse the baby. I just think it's a great chair. That is one of my favorite chairs right now. Um, and it just looks great in that nursery. And now we're doing this little upstairs family room. Um, and it just has a whole bunch of like the little puppet show, the Don't Wake the Llama, and that weird top, the child building block set, which I have not played with yet. Um, but yeah, we're about to go into screenshots. This is the last part of the house that we needed to do. Um, yeah, and we're just saving it, and I believe we go into screenshots. Yeah, I do a little, I like to do a little virtual walkthrough, and then I do screenshots. So yeah. And now screenshots. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Many more to come. Let's play part three coming. Um, have an awesome day, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.